Hey guys, Mustang and here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. So the previous video should have been the Movie Heroes AGL team versus Extreme STR Super Battle Road stage. And I mentioned at the end of that video that we we're going to do a run on the versus Super Int using the new Broly with the movie bosses slash full power team. Now... With the Gogeta team, we are able to do a full Movie Heroes AGL team. Whereas for Broly, we are taking advantage of that dual category leader skill. As there are not actually enough physical movie bosses characters to make a full physical movie bosses team. So, good thing they have those dual leader skills. Because we have Omega Shenron and Full Power Freezer as the full power category units. Um, and then I decided to bring the physical Bojack from the World Tournament Rewards. I haven't really used him for much after showcasing him as the new best link partner for the LR Bojack. And I wasn't sure who to bring in that final slot. Um, I had played around with the idea of using the Transforming Lord Slug. But he doesn't really link very well with anyone on the team. And um, So I figured since the Bojack is pretty self-sustaining, he gives himself two key as well as a nice attack and defense boost so i figured we'd try him out as a off rotation floating unit he doesn't really provide much support well any support really to the rotation but he should be able to hold his own at least somewhat so okay so we also managed to find a rainbow broly friend so we're gonna leave him in the front spot and with that Fully easy aid, full power freezer, linked up with the movie boss's golden freezer. Uh, I feel like this uh, is going to be over pretty quickly. So, of course, Boo has to get off a super attack because we are probably going to end the fight this turn. So, couldn't super attack last turn when I used the Yammer, though, could he? So, Ooh, almost 2.2 million attacks that for full power freezer. Yep, goodbye. Two phases gone. <laughs> Definitely not what we're used to from when these stages first dropped. But I mean, if you saw the uh, AGL Movie Heroes video, power creep is definitely a thing. So at this point in the game, if you manage to get lucky on the newer banners, uh, I feel like the old original Super Battle Road stages are a lot more doable now for a lot of people. So uh, let's get rid of you first, I guess. Hmm. Might not be able to super with Bojack. Definitely want to super with Cooler though. Um, in fact, let's go for this. Because then regardless of supers, we shouldn't take a whole lot of damage this turn. <clears throat> and the orb's coming in just enough on the left side there so we can get a super. So of course he's going to start off with a super, so... Wow, double supers straight off the bat on Broly. So, the uh, Princess Snake was definitely a good idea because I was toying with the idea of using an Android 8, but raising your defense does not really help you out all that much against super attacks. So, yeah, this team not as defensively powerful as the AGL Movie Heroes team that we use. So, I probably am not going to be able to get through this one using as few items as we did for the AGL stage, but we should still be okay. What's this Bojack going to do here? Yeah, that's not bad. He did take her out, so there is that. I wonder if the Freezer would be better off in the front. Because Freezer gets a massive defense boost when he's in the first slot, but only when he attacks. So he's going to take this first attack before he gets any kind of boost. Now let's try it out. I'm hoping that since we took supers last time, we aren't going to get supered again. So let's use the future Bulmer as opposed to a defensive item. And then we'll grab the physical orbs with Omega. Wow, 2.6. <laughs> wow. Oh, and an additional as well. So, 
Basically around 2.3 million damage all by himself. And another super attack, of course. Taking 20k from the normals, though. That's not bad. Over 2 million attack stat for the Broly. And there we go. So, <laughs> we're only like 5 minutes into the video and we've done the first 2 stages already. Yikes. Uh, who have we got here? Is this... Margin Vegeta and... No, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Kid Trunks. Of course it wouldn't be Margin Vegeta. He's an extreme type unit. What am I thinking? Right, so we got the Golden Freezer here for the nice buff. Um, in fact, we should probably pick up the physical orbs with him since he's the only one of the units on this rotation that's rainbow. So we get the most health back if we do that. So we'll drop this Yemma. I feel like with the support, this rotation is defensive enough that we should be okay. Yeah, because I mean, normal attacks, we're going to take very little damage. So, 1.5 mil attacks that from my Broly. My Broly only has one dupe, but I mean, that still works out well. And that is the exact reason, because then you can get crits on that AoE super attack. So, now Cooler coming in. See if he can get some additional supers off here. No, just a single additional attack. Okay. But you can see the power of the support unit and that Yemma taking basically no damage this turn. Yeah. So nobody super attacked. So pretty sorted. But yeah, see, this is the kind of situation, this is what I'm talking about. Like, Freezer only gets his boost when he attacks. So if the attacks are in the front slot and there's no attacks here, it's kind of pointless to even put him in the first slot. But. Unfortunately, he doesn't get any key links from anyone on this rotation, so... Hmm. I guess we should just focus on Vegeta since he has the least health. Uh, do this. And we didn't get any super attacks last turn, so I think we need to do this. Just in case. And then we'll give Bojack those physical orbs there, so he can super attack. <clears throat> and of course, going to start off with the supers, but the rainbow friend hopefully should dish out a decent amount of damage here. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Typical that mine with one dupe gets a crit and the uh, rainbow one doesn't crit on either of the attacks, but there you go. Wow, full power freezer, even with the... Uh... Android 8 taking quite a bit more damage than I expected so yeah, as you can see this team definitely nowhere near as defensively powerful as that AGL movie heroes team was as we find ourselves now on particularly low health uh, hmm. I guess if we use this because then we could potentially take out the trunks with the Broly Although, of course, the funny thing is, even with the amount of damage that we have been taking, we've taken out the event so quickly that we're probably not even going to get the Dokon attack in the last fight. So, we can't really rely on that to uh, make that final fight a clean sweep. So, But yeah, Broly just annihilating everyone. So, at least we end the fight on full health. Well, close to. And who have we got here? Is this the Piccolo and Vegeta? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we've got three opponents. Oh, see, okay. Mm, this is a potentially where Freezer in the first spot could be good. Although I still feel like Broly in the first slot, especially being Rainbow, normal attacks are not really going to do a huge amount of damage to us. So... Who's attacking the most at the back, Vegeta or Piccolo? Vegeta. So let's try and take out Vegeta first. Do we want to use an item, though? This is where it gets sketchy, because... If everybody super attacks at the front, we just die. So... I guess we go ahead and use this. I feel like we can put out enough damage that... We'd be okay to use this now. So... Let's go for it. 
definitely didn't expect to have to use all the items to get through this run. But, I mean, we have got through the run very quickly. But, as I say, the units are certainly not as defensively powerful as the uh, AGL Movie Heroes team. Because, yeah, this Rainbow Broly, even with the Princess Snake active, still taking a thousand or so damage from normal attacks. Yeah. Mm, can this Freezer actually finish off Vegeta? Oh, he survives with a sliver. I bet he's going to super attack at the start of the next turn, isn't he? Okay, he's not attacking at the start. The only sketchy thing about this now is that we're on full health, so this is not a good time to use an item. Uh, we also can't get a super attack with Cooler. Is it worth doing that? No, we lose a lot of attack from Broly if we do that. Oh, wait, no. Of course we can. I was so busy looking at this one and this one, we completely failed to notice this uh, huge line of orange orbs there. So, good work there. I guess I really should have changed to Piccolo because Broly is absolutely going to kill Vegeta. Okay, well, let's see how we get on here. As long as we don't catch multiple super attacks, we should be okay. But... I mean, 36k is still a lot of damage to take from normal attacks, but hopefully we'll be okay. Cooler. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, if, if you could get some additional super attacks, that would definitely be appreciated. Oh, he didn't take out the Goku. Oh, if I hadn't switched to the Bojack, he would have taken out Goku. Ah, oh, typical. Well... Broly is going to take out Goku, and to be fair, probably Piccolo, so. I don't even need to use that last item. That is going to be it for you boys, so I guess we're, we at least get to save that final item, so. Almost 1.7 on the Broly. Should take out both these guys here. Yeah, definitely taking out Goku with a crit for good measure, so. I feel like that is absolutely going to be my best time for this uh, stage. So we used more items than I was expecting to, but like I said, multiple times. This team definitely not as strong defensively as the uh, movie heroes, but putting out some very good damage. Apparently it wasn't even my best time. Wow. By like 30 seconds. A good, well, a good 35 seconds. Damn. Well, there you go. So... That is going to be it for the video, guys. That is the Movie Bosses slash Full Power Team versus the Extreme in uh, Super In Super Battle Road. Let me know how you've been trying out the new units on Super Battle Road down in the comments. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you are new. You can follow my Twitch channel and all my social media. The links are in the description. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.